beautiful jewelry is back again under the glittering skies of the Jaipur Jewelry Show. This time with its focus on a mix of the traditional and more modern jewelry houses. Get ready to take in the magic once more. Join us to witness another hallmark of Kundan, Meena and Jadao from the house of Rawat Jewels. The more innovative and creative variety proving the timelessness of this ancient art. The entire boutique on the other hand will showcase fine modern diamond jewellery, enriching the Indian heritage jewellery experience through an enhanced technique, designs and craft. The old saying, do not judge a book by its cover, seems to have less relevance when it comes to the jewellers of Jaipur. It takes just a glance for the practiced eye to sense the timelessness of an authentic piece of jewellery. Such practice comes to them only from being attached to something for a long, long time. Much like in the case of centuries-old Rawat jewels. As one of India's premier jewellery brands, Rawat Jewels has truly aged well. With a legacy of over two and a half centuries in Kundan, Meena and Jadao jewellery, they are now into their 11th generation and the legacy is borne forward with pride to say the least. Their jewellery not only speaks of impeccable craft and excellent designs, but also innovation to enhance the client's experience in a modern day and age. Over two centuries old Rawat jewels really do not need an introduction in the city of Jaipur. I'm joined here by generation next Rawats, Kunal and Karan. Welcome to the Jaipur Jewelry Show. Thank you. I want to start uh, by saying that you obviously have ancestors who have been your mentors and heroes when it comes to jewellery. How much of their vision have you still managed to keep intact? Quite a bit actually in terms of the legacy that we've inherited, the ethics, the vision. In terms of designing, a lot has changed because the needs of the consumers has, like, have changed. Of course. The way we've kept it intact is the technique of producing the jewellery. We've incorporated the new techniques and merged them together to create a new style of jewellery. So when you see the jewellery, the, the patterns that were left mysteries ago, how do you see it? I mean, do you see it and you want to just instantly change it? We can't really ever change the patterns or design from the past. Okay. Especially uh, considering Kundan Meena jewellery. Because that is, uh, it's a it's traditional jewellery, right? So it's just that you can modify it or use different patterns to incorporate it. Say, um, something like a hut fool which was totally out of fashion some time back is back into fashion now. You know, considering how the newer generation is uh, influenced by the West now. Yeah. So even in terms of jewellery that's happening. So you stick to the basics of uh, Kundan Meena but you try to make it lighter by say having not Meena at the back or something. Okay. Or uh, you incorporate say if not only flat cut then you incorporate more of gemstones or uh, full cut diamonds or something like that. In terms of the newness, uh, what is it that you have brought to the table? Just the way we dress up a product or the way we uh, string it, how we call it, we've changed that quite a bit to um, give it a contemporary look. Is it difficult to think in terms of what women want? <laughs> of course, it's never, never easy to, to know what women want. We, I mean, try and understand from our customers that okay. what their exact needs are. Okay, so who are these customers? Like, who are these people who, and where do they come from? You know, treasure hunting all the way to the Rawat. Okay, so in India, jewelry is bought when either there is a function or like a, a, an engagement or marriage, somebody's getting married or there's a child, a newborn in the family is the clientele we have are mostly either brides or the, the family of of the brides 
So, what are the special trademarks of a Rawat piece of jewelry? Well, a Rawat piece of jewelry wouldn't exactly have a specific trademark. Okay. In our trade, the trick is that nothing should be the same. Every piece should be as exclusive as possible. Okay. So, then again, keeping that in mind, we try to ornament our pieces with the different uh, color stones or pearls or uh, just string it in a different way. Presenting, I mean, keeping the, the roots basic okay. and simple, but just presenting it in a different way. So when you say the roots basic, you mean the the tech? The way it's strung is more like it, the way it's presented. Okay, he keeps saying we string it this and string it that. Now, women don't look at jewelry technically. Why don't we just see some of your incredible display? See, if we talk about a simple piece like this one over here. Wow. Simple and elegant. Simple yet elegant. So this is a very basic, simple pendant. It's just that how it's strung differently again, I'd quote myself as earlier. I love this. The difference here again is how the emeralds are set, set on it. So w these are emeralds, wow. These are like Colombian like emeralds, Columbian which are emeralds. set with uh, traditional Indian pole keys. And it is so light. I'm just going to try this on. But you know, this is also really striking, although this has a little more of a Western uh, contemporary look. Yeah, amalgamation, but this looks completely traditional. So, yeah, this beautiful piece out here, which I'm going to wear yeah. exactly like this. Wow, how gorgeous is that? Yeah, so these are also emerald hangings with the uh, inlay of in diamond pole key. It's a task to string this, I mean, to set these stones on a piece of emerald because emerald is a very soft stone. So, I mean, are you like jewelers by default? When, I'll, I'll talk about myself here. Yeah. <laughs> but I was never forced to be a jeweler. Right. I was, uh, even by my father, I was always given the option to do whatever I wanted in my life. Okay. Not that I ever really took an interest in something else. Okay. So I did end up doing jewelry. But honestly speaking, I really enjoy it now. But the business is so glamorous. You yeah. get to meet new people every day. Hmm. And it just, it's difficult to resist. Basically, he's trying to say all the girls come running out to me. <laughs> it's easier to get them yeah. walking up to you. Hmm, not but bad. unfortunately, all of them are brides to be. Titch. <laughs> <laughs> and now the most difficult question. How do you plan to take this beautiful legacy forward. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> we are lucky to inherit this legacy and uh, don't have a game plan. We, we still had to, like our father gave us the choice of doing whatever we want. We, I think we'd have to give our children the, the, the option of doing what they want. Hopefully, they choose to do jewellery. So I'm definitely more educated on jewellery, much more than I ever was uh, from when we began this conversation. And hoping you guys had fun and uh, with this visual treat. We had a lovely time and thank you, Robert Jewels. We wish you all the best from the Jaipur Jewellery Show. Thank you. Thank you. Want to live in the days of Rajput glory once again? Take a leaf out from the scrolls of Rajasthan's courts and its inspired jewellery made in classical Kundan Meena, grandly titled Moti Panki Katla. And while at it, make the most of it with an emerald parrot ring, an ode to the fantastic parakeet carried out in beautiful filigree work.
Bring out that Rajasthani brilliance in exquisite forms of a lal chudi fungar choker, studded with diamonds, polki, and South Sea pearls. Add to it the floral radiance of a red meenakari kada and a polki gulbahar ring. with a special promise when you are wearing this classic royal panchalada. From the house of the Ravats, the lure of this dazzling necklace paired with earrings of the same diamonds, polki and pearls is irresistible. Dress up in this brilliantly opulent set and make your mark. You know you're ready for that secret rendezvous when you have drawn this gorgeous choker in the traditional Rajasthani style studded with diamond, polki, emeralds and pearls. And let the moon shine through the panna mangdika that adorns your forehead. Its exquisite tika shape will make you feel no less than a princess. Coming up, specializing in diamonds, the entire boutique takes a special place in the jewelry business in India. Their unique brand of jewelry is made for the women of today who like to keep it simple and elegant, combining both classical and contemporary influences. Just like Audrey Hepburn felt happy each time she walked into the Tiffany's, here at the Jaipur Jewelry Show, this is going to be my Tiffany moment at the Entice Boutique. Entering into this glittering world of the entice boutique in Jaipur is indeed a very exciting experience and perhaps a live version of every woman's latest dreams of diamonds. We will talk about the contemporary jewellery at Entice and its varied displays and explore some of the reasons why the superior sheen of Entice rises a notch above the rest in its genre. Entice enjoys the classic inheritance of the century-old KGK group. Their timeless designs have turned the tide into truly international directions so far unmatched. Founded on the principles of excellence and trust, the KGK group is multifaceted and has been involved with everything to do with making jewellery, starting from mining to manufacturing gemstones, diamonds, jewellery and retailing. So it's a teamwork which leads to making fine jewellery. And of course, you know, everyone needs to have that high passion. And once you start being passionate about jewellery, it surely comes out to be a great piece of work. In 2009, we rolled Entice in India, and now we have five stores in India. It is basically based on 
selling jewelry to the high net worth individuals. For the globe trotting women of today, Entice offers a whole array of fine diamond jewelry conceived and manufactured in the Far East Hong Kong. With expertise from the international shores in design and technique, Entice has a special edge when it comes to designing jewelry for the Indian market. Entice uh, derives its inspiration from the rich cultural heritage of India and uh, it having its base in Hong Kong, it has a great um, influence of contemporary uh, jewelry and the needs of the modern, well-traveled Indian consumer. Suiting the demands of contemporary tastes, Entice offers wearable jewelry which can be worn in multiple ways. This is uh, one of the simpler multi-way use pieces. The top part of it can be worn as a necklace or you can detach the pendant and wear it by itself. Or this necklace can be worn as you like. Wedding jewellery, another big off-house of Entice, is made very versatile suiting the needs of today's brides. This particular piece here has, we, we've got yellow diamonds here and yellow rhodium, so this makes it a very versatile piece to match with the heavy bridal wear. So we here at Entice uh, put in a lot of our uh, passion and love into creating the pieces that come out in the market and you will feel that each piece of jewellery has a soul to it uh, that connects with the user. The jewellery which is manufactured in Entice has an international flavour, thus making it unique and it thus caters to the modern women of India. Stay tuned for up next, we'll bring to you some of the choicest jewellery from Entice which is sure to pull at your heartstrings. So don't go anywhere. This kind of dedication to making fine jewellery and giving an even better experience, at Entice, they truly take your breath away without making too much noise. Fantastic piece of jewellery is not just design it has, but it's also about the technique that is infused in it. Because when you hold the piece in your hand, you start to feel the difference. And when you put it on you, you even feel more elevated. Feel precious in a shiny glaze wrapped in this beautiful ruby scarlet dreams necklace set. A snark piece made in the likeness of European classical jewellery worn in the 80s. And let your hands do the talking when woven around your palm is this elegant hearth pool. Which could do well as a ring, a pendant and a bracelet too. Floral and delicate, this four-row diamond necklace is a one-in-a-million necklace studded with delicate, pear-shaped, colorless diamond flowers set in white gold. With a superb asymmetrical design, this necklace is best worn with matching floral patterned bracelets and these bold rings. This 
extremely delicate and feminine two-row white and rose gold diamond studded necklace is in the style of a bouquet of beautiful flowers. And donned with equally stunning diamond bangles, rings and earrings is sure to make you the queen bee of that wedding party. icon who always makes a statement is this eye-catching round diamond necklace with oval, pear and round diamonds. And what will keep you guessing is the earring with a hint of blue in them with floral patterns. in this true art deco inspired diamond choker complete with diamond chandelier earrings designed for the bride with a refined taste. This elaborate choker is embedded with round, fair and princess shaped diamonds for that morning to night glow. Next week, we give you a glimpse into one of the biggest names in gemstones in the world, Gem Fields. And the rare workings of how their rubies and emeralds turn into precious jewelry.